Hello cyclists, welcome. Look at this huge and massive bike. It is the Charger 3 from German bike manufacturer Riese and Müller. Ries and Müller decided in 2009 to build e-bikes and they said the design has to be different. You have to see that it is an e-bike. And when you have a look at the tubes, they are huge, they are massive. When you hear Charger 3, you know there must have been a Charger 2 and some other former models. And this is the 2020 model with some very nice and interesting new features they've redone quite a lot. The most important thing of course is the motor. Riesen Müller choose a Bosch motor of course super reliable super strong model they did use the performance CX generation 4 motor. These motors are built in very um, bikes that have to be very strong and super reliable and this motor here has a torque of 75 Newton meter and there's just some news from Bosch so there's a software update and you can with this software update the motor will have 85 Newton meter of torque so I'm don't know how this is going to work but this is a very nice feature so very soon this motor will have 85 um, newton meter of torque the performance line cx motor is quite interesting how it is working it has three sensors one is to measure how fast you pedal the second one is how hard you pedal and the third sensor is in the rear wheel and that is measuring constantly how fast the bike is riding overall. And this information is all taken to give you the very nice and very reliable um, acceleration and riding feeling. Uh, the standard version of the bike comes with a power tube of 500 watt hours and you can easily have a second battery on the bike. Then you have two batteries more with more than 1,100, I think, 25 watt hours. And from both batteries, it's going to take the energy. So this is super sufficient and the batteries will last really, really long. I really like about this bike is you can charge the battery on the bike or off the bike. So whether you can take the bike inside to charge it or not, doesn't matter with this bike, you are totally fine. This version here is the Vario GT version. This is just like from cars. GT stands for Grand Turismo. And this is due to the fact that it has smaller tires. Uh, the Charger can also come with broader tires so you can go off in the terrain for um, more mountain biking, to do some nice gravel um, tours. And Vario stands for the Enviolo shifting. So it's super nice. You have like index less uh, gearing feeling. You easily shift here at the handlebar. And the GT version here comes with 11 gears. So this is super nice when you're doing longer tours or you're commuting quite a lot. And in combination with the Gates carbon belt drive. Fantastic um, technique service lasts at last three times longer than a regular chain but if you're a friend of a classic dryer and the chain you can of course also have this bike with a regular chain and if you're really a bike enthusiast you can also have the Rola 14 gear hub with electric shifting but then this bike will be even more expensive this one here costs approximately 4800 euros so almost like a small car but I mean what you get is really fantastic. Another very important detail concerning the motor what was really annoying to me the generation before this motor had a smaller chain ring in front and they now erased the reduction um, gear so when you easily reach the 25 or 32 kilometers per hour whether you're living in the EU or in the US it feels like holding you back so it was a bit like um, braking but now this is um, erased you can easily when you exceed the 25 or 32 kilometers it's super easy to go faster so this is really really good 
and the motor also is 50% smaller and 25% lighter. So this is also very nice. Concerning the weight, this bike here weighs a bit more than 26 kilograms. So it's a very heavy bike, but due to the motor, it's super easy to ride. You have three different displays. It comes, the standard version comes with the Enviolo Bosch display. You can have the Kiox display or you have the smartphone hub like I do here. And then you can connect your bike with your mobile phone. There is an app, the Kobe app. Then you have all the nice features you can think of. You can see how fast you're riding, you have a navigation system, you see the range that is left from the battery and there's so much more information. I don't want to go too much into the depth because this will be boring. You can also turn on and switch off the lightning. And this bike also has an integrated chip and Ries and Müller offers you the service, of course it costs you some extra money um, to track the bike. So when it gets stolen, you can easily track down your bike. The Charger 3 comes with a suspension fork and when you're really into mountain biking or more on the terrain, there's a second version, not this one here, a completely black one, where you can adjust and individualize um, this, the degree of suspension, which is super nice. The bike comes with a pump, and you can also, what I like, lock the suspension. So when you're climbing up a mountain, sometimes you put a lot of, a lot of your power into the suspension fork, not with this technique. That is also a very quiet detail that some of you, um, I think, will highly appreciate. The handlebar is quite broad, so you're sitting a lot like on a mountain bike. It comes with ergo grips that are super comfortable. And also I like the brake levers, they look very sporty, a bit aggressive. They remind me a bit of a WESP somehow. Mm, you do have different saddles concerning your weight, what you like. The standard version is a 3D skin gel saddle, super comfortable. And as you can see, uh, Ries und Müller has its heritage in the suspension and the seat post also has a suspension. So that makes it quite nice when you're riding over some cobblestone streets and will give you a very nice, very comfortable feeling when riding this bike. Also a very nice and sweet update, if you ask me, is this uh, bottle holder for two bottles, cageless, and you can easily just put the bottle back, um, probably for very sportive people, because you have two bottles. I would uh, probably for my riding and my commuting use only one. But um, yeah, it's, it's a very nice feature that it comes with two bottles. You have a little remote at the handlebar and you can choose between the difference modes of assist. This uh, generation 4 motor is now giving you a 340% in the turbo mode and in the eco mode you have up to 60% of support. So this is really nice and of course the range of the battery is always in connection um, what kind of support you're choosing for. And I'm going to take this black beauty here for a test ride. Well, I have a very upright sitting position, so it feels very comfortable to ride this bike. The acceleration is really cool due to the new motor. I just had a little dangerous situation when I was turning right and my paddle was also right on the floor. I, my paddle touched the floor a little, so this is really something you have to keep in mind when uh, riding. See that the inner paddle is up. Maybe that is something due to the bottom bracket and the frame geometry, but that uh, was not so super convincing for me. This can be dangerous. So this bike is, feels a bit like riding a tank. It is super strong, very reliable. The Charger 3 comes in four different frame sizes, 46, 49. This is a 53 for me, perfect. And a really huge one, 56 for people that are taller than 185 centimeters. The frame can also be chosen in a mixed D frame, so for women or for unisex, and there you have three different frame sizes as well. This bike can be chosen in three different colors. This is the blue grayish one. 
I have like a sort of a red one and an off-white color. This bike is like riding a super huge SUV. It is very reliable, super strong with the Generation 4 Boss Motor Performance line. Uh, the design is very masculine and very robust. The super massive and big tubes is not completely, um, for me, my style is a bit more elegant bikes. But when you're looking for a bike that accompanies you through your commute, your everyday commute, or when you're going um, climbing some mountains, this can be a very good companion. Hey guys, if you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.